It's been a couple of weeks since I've uploaded any videos and that's because I was away for a short vacation but I'm back now and mail items have been gathering up. So let's start with this uh, pair of Fluke TL10 test leads. I got them from uh, eBay for under $9, shipping included. Let's open this uh, package. And let's see how they uh, feel and uh, work. These uh, handles do seem a bit plasticky. Uh, they are not as soft as uh, some uh, original fluke probes that I have. Let me get those. So this is uh, an original pair of uh, fluke probes that came with uh, my fluke 87.5. I don't think these are the uh, TL10 uh, model, but uh, they are certainly softer than uh, these ones. And for comparison, uh, the original ones on the right, they seem to be a mate black, while these, um, these ones I got from eBay, from eBay seem to be uh, a glossy surface finish. And also mine are a bit shorter than these ones from eBay. The cable uh, seems a bit more softer on the original ones as well. Let's check if these ones from eBay have any markings on the wire. And uh, no, it appears they don't have any markings on the wire, but they do have uh, markings on the uh, connectors so no markings on the wire but they are uh, rated cut 3 1000 volts yep also on the uh, probe handle so um, yeah not as good quality as the uh, original ones but certainly uh, usable let me just get uh, the fluke 87 and do a continuity test yeah, so it seems that these uh, are skipping a bit here and there let's try the original ones which, uh, by the way, uh, were brutalized by someone, not me. Yeah, so the original ones are not skipping a bit. They catch every single contact. So by now, I'm quite sure that these ones I got from eBay for uh, 9 bucks are pretty much... Uh, a copy of the original and they're not genuine but you know for nine bucks I think they're uh, worth the money and still usable I don't think they uh, put the user at risk they seem to be uh, built uh, okay quality but uh, the only thing that's that's missing is that soft uh, silicone uh, feeling from them and uh, who knows, maybe they will uh, break sooner than a pair of uh, original ones. So there will be a link in the description for these uh, Fluke test leads. Next I have these uh, red and black silicone cables. They are 18 AWG. And these are of course for my DIY bench cables that you are probably used to by now. There will also be more uh, related items in this video like uh, connectors so uh, keep watching for those i get most of my uh, silicone cables from hobby king i like their turnage brand very good quality but this time just for a couple of uh, meters of cable um, it was not worth it to pay the uh, shipping from hobby king so i ordered from ebay instead these uh, seem to be uh, reasonable quality they have markings on them so uh, well worth the uh, price I paid of about uh, $1 per meter in such a small quantity. 
There will be a link in the description for the seller where I got these. I also got five of these uh, nine volt battery sockets. I got the uh, type with the uh, hard plastic end cap because these uh, seem to be a bit more uh, sturdy than the ones with just uh, a thin plastic film on the end. These are the kind of items that you buy once in a 5 or 10 pack and then they last you for uh, a few years of hobby projects. It just happened that I used the last one for my stock so I got another set of 5 to keep in my uh, box of uh, connectors. Next I have a set of 10 pieces 4mm banana plugs. These are the low cost version which are only good for uh, low voltage DC, let's say up to 30 volts. That is because they don't offer good isolation. In fact the uh, securing screw can be touched by the user so that could be quite dangerous above uh, 30 volts DC. These are good for creating DIY bench cables and if you've uh, watched my videos so far you know I like to have a bunch of cables in all possible configurations so this will uh, come in handy soon. I also got a pair of these uh, shrouded 4mm banana plugs. These are a bit more uh, complicated and uh, more expensive. I think I paid for a pair of these as much as I paid for 10 pieces of the uh, classic type. Uh, but they have the advantage of uh, being shrouded. So that's, that uh, gives increased uh, security to the user but with better insulation. I think these are uh, also right angle plugs so they uh, should snap something like this. The cable comes in in here and this is your plug. Uh, they uh, make a great fit for equipment like uh, multimeters because they can go in like that. And I think I first saw these on uh, Steve Wagner's channel. He did buy a bunch of different models, uh, banana plugs, and showed them in a video. These are 4mm uh, binding posts, and these can also be found in a bunch of different variants on uh, eBay and the other websites. I didn't have this particular model, and uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. These are lower profile than the usual binding posts, and uh, they might come in handy in some uh, front panel where there is a space constraint, and... Uh, I don't have uh, a lot of uh, room to install uh, binding posts. So I, I thought I'd uh, get some just to keep them around in my connectors box. Uh, they will sure come in handy someday. Um, they also seem to be a reasonable good quality. Next up I have these uh, multimeter alligator clips. These are the type uh, designed to clip on the end of your standard multimeter test probes. So here are the uh, test leads shown before, the fluke ones, and uh, this is how the alligator clips um, go on the end of this uh, multimeter probe. So they go in like that. They have nice thick insulation with this uh, silicone uh, type of material. And they also uh, have a rating of uh, maximum 10 amps and uh, they are rated for CAT2 1000 volts, which is nice and I guess uh, achievable in this uh, form factor, but no assurances on that claim. These were $2 from Banggood, but you can also find them on uh, eBay and they will sure come in handy whenever I like to uh, attach the multimeter probe to a fixed measurement point because most of the times when I'm working on a circuit the ground lead um, is at a fixed point so I can attach the ground lead to uh, a fixed ground point and then I can go in just with the positive lead and measure different voltages. So yeah a good addition to my uh, toolbox and I highly recommend you get a pair of these. Next, I ordered another four of these 55mm uh, alligator clips, which have the 4mm uh, banana inputs on their back. Although the uh, eBay listing clearly uh, states color will be random, it's a bit uh, strange that in my case 
uh, out of four pieces, the uh, they were all randomly white. So it sucks that I got uh, four uh, white alligator clips. I was kind of hoping to get uh, maybe two reds and two black, but uh, I'll have to live with it. Uh, I'm going to use these for the uh, for my DIY bench cables. Uh, maybe I can paint them. I don't know. Or I will use them just like this on a white color. A link for this will be in the description below. But uh, take note, uh, most likely you will not receive uh, the color that you want. You might have noticed that this mail bag is all about cables and connectors. So continuing on the same note, I also got these sharp piercing test probes. Uh, I think these are supposed to accept 4mm banana plugs. And in fact, let's uh, test that. I have uh, a pair of uh, cables that I made. And uh, yeah, I think this is the way they're supposed to be connected. They are extremely sharp. Uh, they have these uh, protections, but as you can see, extremely sharp needle type uh, tip. And if you've ever worked under the microscope trying to uh, probe for some small QFN package or some 0201 SMD resistors, you know that even the sharpest multimeter probes look huge and it's very difficult to be precise with them. So for that kind of work, these two needle probes will come in handy. I got them from eBay for less than $2 with uh, free shipping. And I highly recommend you get a pair of these for fine work. A link will be in the description below. Next I got this uh, 600 pieces ferrule kit from Banggood. These are excellent for any kind of uh, wiring, be it uh, house, electrical wiring, or if you're just doing some uh, bench leads like I'm doing mostly. Let me show you a couple of examples. Here I have the ends of these uh, cables crimped with uh, ferrules and on this uh, small patch cord as well. I can get these uh, from my local hardware store in um, individual sizes, 100 pieces pack, but that's usually too much and they are um, a bit more expensive. I mostly need a lot of pieces of one particular size, like uh, 1.5 millimeters and a few pieces of all the other sizes. So this kit is perfect because it gives me seven different sizes in this uh, nice enclosure ready to be used whenever I need them. Instead of uh, thinning your wires before inserting them into a screw connector, it's better to uh, crimp the wires with these um, uh, ferrules and then screw them in. You'll get better reliability over time this way. I'm using this uh, simple crimping tool from Junior. Well, it's simple, but it wasn't cheap. I remember paying about $30 for this um, crimping tools, but it's been good. I've been using it for a couple of years and I, I think I've crimped uh, more than uh, a couple of thousands uh, ferrules and it's still holding up uh, very well. I have showed Junior tools before in my videos. I can get them uh, locally directly from a uh, junior rep or from uh, some other shops. They're good price and good quality, but I don't know if you can get them online or locally in your particular country. So I will add a link for this um, feral kit and a different uh, crimping tool uh, from Banggood in the description below. Next, I got myself some solder wire leaded type in two sizes. This one is one millimeter thick and this one is 0.3 millimeter. I use the one millimeter for general purpose uh, soldering and the 0.3 millimeter for micro soldering when trying to solder some very small SMD components. They're both uh, 6337 rosin core. It should be non-corrosive and uh, both spools uh, came from China. No particular brand. If you can get known brand soldered, then go for it. It will make your life easier. Whenever I order stuff from uh, United States, I usually put in a couple of uh, rolls of uh, Kester solder, which I find great quality. 
but that's harder to find in Europe and definitely more expensive from uh, other brands. So for general purpose, I tend to use uh, these uh, cheap solder spools from eBay. I also got myself some uh, desoldering wick and uh, let's check them out. Although uh, these ones are branded good wick, I kind of doubt they're genuine because, well, I got them from Banggood but it uh, will still do the job even if it's uh, fake. I got myself uh, five different uh, sizes and these should uh, last me for years as I don't do that much uh, desoldering and uh, repair work. I paid about five dollars for these um, uh, five pieces and uh, they came with uh, free shipping. Used together with some good flux, it shouldn't uh, matter that much if they're genuine or not because with uh, genuine good wick you get uh, better flux already in the braid and maybe slightly more copper strands in the braid but if you can get uh, these ones for half the price from China I think they're worth buying as usual links for all of these items will be in the description below and by using the links in the description and purchasing these items I do get an affiliate percentage from every sale and that helps to keep these videos coming. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.